Hi, this is Ann Warfield with Impression Management Professionals. We're here today to look at how can you make your team meetings more dynamic and effective. Because remember, you need your team to think strategically, speak clearly, in order to transform results faster with less stress. So your team meetings are incredibly important to do that. Now today we're going to focus on just a couple elements that throw a team meeting off and what you can do to correct those elements. Number one, I find a lot of meetings do not have a firm start and stop time. Therefore, people can wander in. And what happens is over time, people start realizing that the start time is not really 8 a.m. It's really 8, 10 a.m. So they can kind of tag in and out. So make sure you have a firm start and stop time. Respect those schedules for everyone so people know to be there right on time. As a matter of fact, one of the things we have a lot of clients do is tape record the meeting. So anyone who misses it, here's a tape recorded message instead of trying to go to their colleagues and gather up the information. Number two, prioritize the information that you're going over with your team. We find too many times that what people do is you sit down and you basically do a laundry list. What tends to happen is everyone just waits for their turn. When they get to say their information, they sit down. What's missing is the integration of the information so that you can utilize it at a whole new level. Now let me give you an idea of what this means so you can take this back. In my daughter's religion class, they send a recap every week of what they covered. Now here's what typically most people would do. First of all, most would never ever even send a recap. So that in and of itself is dynamic and new. But number two, when most people send a recap, what they tell you is this is what we did. But here's what they did. What they do is go beyond it to look at what does it mean of what we did and then what can you do with this information. So let me give you an example so you can see. So they said, what did we discuss? They gave us some information. We talked about signs and symbols. How did we discuss it and how did the kids engage? Well, then they told us how we threw the coats on and we took the kids outside of the corner and we had them point to every sign that they could. And then we talked about what those signs do for us. They show us direction, assist us in knowing how to behave on the roads, give us insight into the current weather. Then they went inside the church and they asked the kids to identify as many signs and symbols again as they could. And then they talked about what those symbols do for us and how they can help us to understand and participate. So notice what they're doing here is they're giving us as the parents all the information so that we can be as insightful with the kids on what they learn. And they're telling us, they're not assuming that we understand what they were trying to do, so they're actually telling us. And then they end it by saying to us, so what are the takeaways and what can you do? Notice how it's so clearly outlined and it brings us right in and here's what you can do and here's how you can take this lesson further. Challenge yourself to go back to your own team meetings. Look at the agenda, most likely it's bullet pointed of we're going to go over this, this, and this. It's basically asking people where they are. Everyone gets done, kind of like a checklist, and then bounces out of the meeting. Instead, look at how to make it gutsy. What can we learn from it? Where can we grow from it? How can we cross over? How can we grow our sales? How can we look at things a whole new perspective? What did we miss last week? What's the debrief on what worked, what didn't work? What are the opportunities for going forward? If we could improve one thing that happened last week, what would it be and how would we do that? Bring your team to a whole new level. Hold them accountable for thinking more strategically. And you'll be surprised at the results that they can achieve. May you go forth and have a great outcome-focused day filled with fabulous results.